Hi, hope you're having an amazing day. As you saw from the title of this video, we're going to be playing with a lot of new makeup finds from the 99 cent store, which included a lot of Ioni products. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I did post some finds on there showing and displaying these products. But today we're going to put them to the test on the face. I also have a new eyeshadow palette. If you want to see what products I'm using today, just keep on watching. We have the Ioni brow pencil. We have a couple eyeliners. We have their liquid liner. We have a mascara. We also have a couple of their lip products we also have a burlington fine which is the glam lights s'mores face palette and the eyeshadow palette that we use today is the lily croaks from metamorphosis cosmetics so if you want to see how everything performed and my thoughts on them just keep on watching but before that don't forget if you like drugs or makeup go ahead and stick around subscribe maybe hit the bell so you're notified whenever i upload and if you can like the video if you like it and the video is going to start right now all right as you can see all the complexion is already on i am going to go one by one show you guys what i use on my face for primer i went ahead and used the aoa studio aqua hydrating face primer I haven't used this in a long time felt really nice and hydrating on the face it is pretty hot today so I decided to go in with this this is actually in my shot my sash which is the beauty creations poreless face primer so I went ahead and used both of these today I went in with my she glam complexion pro foundation so beautiful I did notice it started catching on my forehead like in an area on my forehead for some reason but other than that this is a really beautiful foundation really recommend it really inexpensive and she glam honestly they're very underrated um they have a lot of great products and this is also another product that's in my recent shaw my stash when with a couple of cream products we have a newer product to me which is the ebony New york contour and glow stick this is really stunning blends really easily on the face also used one of the blushing bubbles cream blush sticks from metamorphosis it's not a stick it's actually a cream uh cream blush I don't know why I say it's thick and it comes in this type of packaging. Really beautiful shade. I've been obsessed with it. I'll have the name down below. I believe this is the Emotion shade. Stunning. Love it. We are going to use another um, Metamorphosis product in a little bit. But this is a really great product. Definitely recommend these. And lastly, I went ahead and used the Wet n Wild Hello Halo. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of this. It was really weird. It started to like dry down really quickly and I wasn't able to blend it out. And it just kind of looked weird and patchy on my cheekbone so i'm i'm not i don't know how i feel about this as of now but i've been using this because it's also in my shot my sash i set the under eyes using the wet and wild contouring palette this is the dulce de leche palette and then we have the metamorphosis loose powder in o2 lastly i went ahead and threw on some concealer i went ahead and used the elf camel concealer i use mine in shade medium beige and I mixed it with the LA Colors Full Cover Concealer because it is a little lighter, also in my shot my stash. So let's get into the Ioni products before anything. You guys know I always start off with my brows when I'm doing my face, but today I decided to just throw everything on first and we'll see how this goes. This is the Ioni Brow Pencil and this is in the shade Play Date. I decided to go for a more brownie one because my hair is dyed so we're gonna see how this works hopefully it's not overly creamy it says it's waterproof natural brow perfect arch and again this is in the shade plating that's a look at that pencil there really nice okay so it is like a pencil i was scared that was gonna be like a gel so i'm gonna give it a swatch oh it's pretty dry okay i was scared it was gonna be overly creamy so i think this is gonna work rather well before that i'm gonna throw on a little bit of the elf shape and stay brow pencil and this is a clear i'm gonna start off by underlining the under part of my brows and the top i love the fact that it's not too creamy because that way it doesn't get too deep too quick I like that I have control over it, but you do have to kind of press hard to get that pigment. That's really nice. I really like this. And also keep in mind, it doesn't come with the spoolie, so you have to have another product or another item to get them to look natural. Now that the product is on, I'm just going to spoolie through a little bit. Honestly, it look really good. This is a really nice product. I can't wait to keep using it and see what else I think of it, but so far, I think it's nice. We're gonna see how everything looks when it's on, but honestly, really good. I'm impressed. I think I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow before we get into the face products. The first product that we have here is the Lily Croaks palette. You guys know I mentioned this before. I've done like a look on my Instagram for this palette or using this palette, and I think this is stunning. Really beautiful packaging, and also the shade selection on the inside is beautiful. And those are the shades we're gonna be working with today. As you can see, there's some blues, some greens, we have some oranges. 
I think this is a stunning palette. They just came out with a different palette, which is the Hippo palette. They also came out with the little mouse palettes. I did talk about the Hippo palette, my recent makeup haul. And a lot of these products actually came out in my makeup haul. If you didn't watch that, that's gonna be down below. I haven't filmed that yet, um, but I know I have a lot of products, okay? We need to talk about and get through. But this palette I've used a couple times before, so I'm gonna use this today. And we're gonna create a really stunning, hopefully like a green blue kind of look. So that is the look that I created using the Lily Crokes palette. As you saw, really easy, really blendable, stunning, very vibrant shades. Really recommend this palette. I also have a coupon code with Metamorphosis Cosmetics, which is going to be on the screen for 15% off. I make no commission off of that. That's for you to save money. And they were kind enough to give me a code, which is really sweet. And definitely recommend this palette. Again, really stunning. That collection also came with face brushes along with some eyeshadow brushes, which I also use. I've done like brush collection videos before and these are honestly some of my favorite ones right now the only one that i'm kind of like ain't about is the powder brush just because it's a little flimsy um but it still works fine so i definitely recommend if you don't get the palette but you're looking for some brushes it also comes with a brush set i have a couple of liner products from ioni the first one is their liquid liner let's a look at that product this is a liquid felt tip eyeliner and this is in the shade extravagant let's a look at that eyeliner and that's how that product looks. Really nice felt tip. Let's look at that, how black it is. Okay, that looks promising. It's an interesting smell. It kind of smells like the dollar liners that you like purchase at Dollar Tree or whatever. They have like the same smell. It smells pretty good. So there's a look at that liner. It was pretty easy to use. This is definitely a matte liner. It's not glossy at all. It's really pretty and I'm definitely going to reach for this often because it's, it's really nice, really easy to use again, really black. And honestly, I'm liking it so far. We'll see how it looks at the end of the day. Um, I'll definitely update you guys in future videos once I start using it a little more. And I'll also update you guys down below how the wear time was like did it crack or flake or whatever but so far it looks really nice we have two kind of eyeliner products this one here i believe is a shadow stick this is the ioni fat smoky chubby stick that's a look at that and this is in the shade take me to paris and there's a look at that product and that's how that looks okay that looks really nice and pigmented i really like the pencil i thought it was gonna be a gel i keep thinking things are gonna be gel liners but i really like the pencil liner i believe this one here is a gel this is the ioni pencil eyeliner and i believe this one's in the shade artiste and that's a look at that product really nice so this one is a gel also really black both of them are stunning but i think i'm gonna stick with this one the more gel liner for today's look Oh, that was really nice and it went directly into my waterline like my my lower waterline or wa lower lash line it looks really nice moving on to mascara and i do have one from ioni this is our volumizing black mascara they did have two types of mascaras at my local 99 cent store that's how that looks and this is the one in duchess let's a look at the wand really nice really long doesn't look too scary. Also, I wanted to compare it to the Chamisse Fat Lash Mascara because I feel like the wand is very, very similar. This one here is the Chamisse Fat Lash, and then this one is the Ioni Lashes one. So they are rather similar. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Ioni Mascara. It's definitely coating the lashes really nicely. Oh, this is nice. I feel like this mascara is definitely really good. 
Um, of course, I'm going to keep using it and see what I think about it throughout the time that I use it. I don't know if it's flaky or if it stays on the lashes at all. But the formula is really sticky, which is interesting. So you could feel that when you're throwing it on your lashes. But it honestly does provide, I feel it provides a little bit of volume to the lashes. Nothing extraordinary. But for a dollar mascara, I think this is very, very promising. And if you were looking for one, check it out because so far, so good with this mascara. I'm going to take the shade Waterfall. I'm going to finish up the lower lashes or the lower lash line before we move on. This palette is so nice. I'm going to take one of the Metamorphosis brushes and I'm going to throw a shimmer shade right in the center. Just throw on a little bit of that mascara on the lower lashes. And of course, you could see them. They're like really prominent really nice mascara i'm really liking it so far i also have some lashes from that same line of the ioni products and these are the lashes in the style queen so i'm gonna go ahead and throw these on really stunning they are more flared out on the outer parts next we're moving on to face products and i have the glam light s'mores highlighter and contour palette and this is actually from burlington and it did retail for 7.99 so there's a look at the packaging, really cute. And then at the top, you get like the marshmallow chocolate section, really adorable palette and no mirror, but these are the shades that you get in here. These are really creamy, really soft at first touch. Ooh, there's a look at those shades. And there's a swatch of this palette, really stunning and really affordable. It was only $7.99 at my local Burlington. I'm not sure how much it is full price, but I grabbed it because it was the last one. I'm going to go into the shade Chocolate. I'm going to contour the face with this shade to bronze up the face. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, that was really nice, really pigmented, and it blended really nicely into the skin. So this palette doesn't have a blush, so I'm just going to take one from my Shop My Stash and throw some on. I'm going to just mix the two highlight shades and I throw them on the face. They're actually really subtle. I thought they were going to be super blinding right off the bat, but I could barely see them on the face. They're like, hmm. Huh. I'm going to do inner corner with both. Yeah, they're a very thin kind of formula, which is interesting. Very interesting formula. I thought they were going to be like bam in your face kind of highlight, but they're a little subtle, which is interesting. So I'm going to keep using this, of course, and let you guys know what I think in future videos, but very interesting. I really like how it looks on the brow bone area and the inner corner looks really nice i kind of like that look because it's not like overdone hmm. okay so i'm gonna move on to lips and we have the ioni fat lips chubby stick really cute and this is in the shade rich that's a look at that and it is again like that pencil type of liner which i really like I'm really starting to like this type of product from Ioni because they're really nice. They don't feel flimsy at all. I like the fact that they're chubby kind of pencils and that's the shade there. So I am gonna use this shade to line the lips. Next, I'm gonna take another Ioni product. This is the Ioni Liquid Lipstick and this one's in the shade Palace. It says this product is long lasting. It's a matte finish and it has an ultra comfortable wear. So that's a look at this product and again it is a liquid lipstick before we move on to the next product i do want to see how the ioni gloss looks i want to see if it's like overly pigmented or if it's a sheer this is a ioni lip gloss and this one's in the shade pastel princess so look at that product again it's a lip gloss so this is gloss on the back a look at the doe foot. I want to see if it has a lot of pigmentation. I'm going to throw a little bit of this on. This is a Smoke and Mirrors. It's a velvet matte lip gloss in the shade Sketch. I'm going to throw some of this in the center of the lip, um, but this is new to me as well. This is a very, very light shade, but I got it specifically to throw in the center of my like nude lips or whatever lip I want to lighten up. So I am going to use this again in the shade Sketch. So look at the 
product with really thin formula. Taking some just a little bit on the center. And lastly, going in with the gloss over top. Oh, I did cover it up a little bit. Not as glossy as I like. It's a little thick. Hmm. It's more of a cream than a gloss. It doesn't like light on at all. Kind of tugs. And lastly, I'm going to go ahead and set the face using my Beauty Creations Tropical Setting Spray. It feels so good and it smells so good. Alright guys, so this is the final look. Let me know down below what was your favorite product from today's video. Now let's discuss my thoughts. The lip liner that we use, this was really nice. It was a little dry, but I honestly, it was nice. I really like the color. Again, I like that chubby stick kind of packaging that they chose. And it's not too creamy, but it's not too dry. It's like in the middle. And I'm going to update you guys in the description box below and in future videos. But so far, so good with this liner. The brow pencil, again, also really nice. I like the fact that I was able to do more natural kind of brows. And they don't look overly pigmented, overly done. They look very natural. So I'm really liking the brow pencil. The liner as well. I like that it was a gel liner and not a chubby pencil because sometimes they do tend to tug. Um, so this was really nice and it glided on the lower lash line. I really like this as well. Mascara worked so well and as you guys saw, it was very comparable to the AOA Studio Fat Lash. The mascara wand was really nice. The product itself was a little sticky, but it honestly did provide volume and length to the lashes, which was really surprising. So this was a really nice product. The Glam Light Face Palette, again, really amazing. If you find it at your local Burlington, I definitely recommend. All the products that I didn't like were the lip products. They were a little sticky. The gloss was not, it's not as glossy as I like my glosses to be. And also the Smoke and Mirrors one. Honestly, I didn't like these products, so I say if you see them, if you want to try them out, that's great, but they weren't my favorite. And with that, we made it to the end. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed filming this for you today. Everything that I talked about on the names of the prices are going to be down below, as well as any videos that I mentioned throughout this video or videos that I uploaded last week. Don't forget, I upload three times a week on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, so if you could stick around, that would be amazing. I have my Insta handles displayed on the screen. I post a lot of makeup finds from drugstore high end, so if that interests you, go ahead and follow me there. It'd be so amazing if you could like and subscribe. Of course, you don't have to. You're your own person, you make your own decisions, but it wouldn't hurt to give this video a like, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.